I've been waiting for you. So in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Varane's Episode 1 preview, as well as a Yu-Gi-Oh! Labo Week 4 clip, Yusaku Fujiki states, they stole my past. Now the question is, what could that mean? Dimsy's Domain and I today are going to be discussing the possibilities as well as just our thoughts on what this could be. So Dimsy, you want to introduce yourself? Yo, what's good? And guys, I want you lot to all make sure these are just theories before the airing of Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns and if we're right, we're right. If we're wrong, we're wrong. Comment down below your theories and let's just get a nice little discussion going because this is our community and if you want a better and a nice cozy community, check out the Facebook page, check out the Twitter page and yes, let's talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns. So the first thing that came to mind is SOL technology. Now, when you look at Yusaka Fujiki, you look at his outfit as well as the school that he goes to, he seems like a very preppy, sort of semi-wealthy kid. And we know that Akira Zaisen works for SOL Technology. The, he's the head of the security branch. Maybe Yusaku yeah. Fujiki's father, very similar to Yusei Fuda, was one of the lead people for the Link Vrain system. And the Knights of Anoi are after. And maybe his father did something bad or was sort of like an error in the coding. Something along those lines. The fault goes on Yusaku's father, similar to how Yusaku has. And Yusaku sort of has those burdens with him. And throughout the years, he figures out that the Knights of Anoi did this. It was this, it was their scheme, similar to how Ilyaster did this. And that's why he has a vendetta against them. All right. And um, my little theory is the fact that, well, that aside, actually, let me quickly tell you a quick thing. When you talk about fathers, after Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, well, 5Ds, Zexu, and Arc 5 all incorporate fathers. Fathers being a main and a very important figure within the story, with Yusei's dad being a scientist, uh, with with Yuma's dad being some missing Indiana Jones explorer, and of course, Yuya's dad being the teacher who has traversed all the dimensions. Obviously, I do expect... And I personally do believe and I agree with you and these, this is uh, evidence uh, from the previous series to support your theory in regards to the fact that his father may play a pivotal point. Now my theory is the fact that what if Yusaku was a former member of the Knights of Hanoi and mm, that's a bit weird isn't it but yes what if he was firstly there's two scenarios what if he was just a member of the Knights of Hanoi he was just a, a second in command or he was just a foot soldier and he essentially done some sort of espionage or he done something which uh, went against protocol it's very similar to Edward Snowden from the United States whereby he he was a whistleblower so what if Yusaku Fujiki was a whistleblower whistleblower and he was then punished by the Knights of Hanoi. Second scenario, what if Yusaku Fujiki was the former leader of the Knights of Hanoi and that's why there is a better connection between Yusaku Fujiki and Revolver who is the current oh, leader of the I Knights like of that. Hanoi. That sort of sets up and the that, rivalry. That's exactly. very, very... All right, and I'm so, sorry to cut you off, but we'll have this sort of storyline that they implement in Varian's where Revolver notices that Yusaku was the former leader, and he wants to prove yeah. himself that he's better to his group. And th there's just so many possibilities that can just go from that. So I, I like that theory a lot, Dimsy. I think, um, and there's another one, and the third one which uh, uh, we thought about is the fact that um, I know a lot of you guys are watching a lot of anime, and there's a lot of anime which I like, and one of the animes, which is my fav one of my favorites, is actually called Code Geass, and we had Lelouch of the Le Rebellion, whereby he wanted to take the Empire down purely because he just, he just did not like the way it was ran. Also, he had an issue with the Emperor, who was, of course, ironically his father, but that aside, wife Yusaku Fujiki is just a very smart kid. He's just a backdoor, he, a basement dwelling hacker. He, he self-taught himself how to hack and he's just a social justice warrior essentially taking things into his own hands and he is trying to be a hero but he's just a regular kid trying to impact the world in some shape or form. So in that sense, there's no real tie connection to like, you know, old school background connection to the Knights of Hanoi or SOL technology but he's just a regular kid who just happened to do get involved in the wrong things at the wrong time and they took everything away from him as a punishment and yes that is one of the main lines isn't it when he was talking to Kusanagi um I'll just quickly ask you right now before you know this to top of our theories do you think that he was talking about they took everything away from me 
in regards to SOL technology or to the Knights of Hanoi? I feel like it's so hard because we don't know what side the S- uh, SOL technology is on. We really don't know. We can You can argue that they aren't on the side of Yusaku, which is to protect the AI life form. Or you can sort yeah. of argue the fact that maybe they're after the AI life form just to cause havoc with it. We don't really know. So just for what we have right now, the evidence, I'm going to say that he's talking about the Knights of Hanoi. Mm, I personally think that it's actually, he actually might be SOL technology because of the fact that, as I mentioned earlier for Code Gas, and by the way, I think your thing about Knights of Hanoi does hold far more water than mine and weight in water. And uh, this is more so speculation on my part, but I think that what we're going to see is the fact that SOL technology and its members, as well as Akira, Zaizen, are, they're, they're doing and they're just following orders. They're not really too sure exactly why they're in the wrong. It's very similar to how in Code Geass, the, the actual military police, they didn't know essentially what they were doing, but they're taking orders from the higher-ups. Very similar to Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, where when they went to the Synchro Dimension, the, the security officers, they were good people, but they were just following orders from the higher up. So I think that at the top, the board of directors, the main people in SOL technology, they're evil. Or they have this very, very malicious agenda. And maybe only Yusaku knows, but who knows? Who knows? And with that note, we're going to end this video off. Uh, thank you, Dimsy, for coming by. Anytime. Check out the playlist that features Dimsy and I, our collabs. Along with that, check out the Facebook and Twitter fan page. See you guys later.